Hi and welcome back to the Night Queen's Lair. Um, obviously, I'm filming this on my phone this week. I'm going to be talking about five of my favorite lip lacquer looks. I get so many questions on my lipsticks um, that I finally decided I'd do a short video about it. So, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscriptions button, um, settle in, and we'll have a quick chat on makeup here. So, yeah, this week I'm filming on my camera. Uh, audio on my webcam is screwed up again, and I am not sure on exactly how to fix that at this point, and I didn't want to spend any more time waiting to try and fix it uh, while I was trying to do this video. So I'm going to get the video done, and then I will go putter around and see what I can do. Uh, if you're just joining me to this channel, I am Yasmin Gallinorn, New York Times, Publishers Weekly, and USA Today best-selling author of over 65 books. Uh, I write urban fantasy and paranormal romance, and on this YouTube channel I talk about everything from cats to makeup to writing to MCAS, a condition I have, to uh, life in general. So stick around if you'd like. So today, um, today, yeah, talking about lip lacquer, I get probably more questions on my lipstick than I do on about anything except for my books in reader comments. And I thought today I would show you what I use, the brands I use, because I do get so many questions on it. Um, when I developed it, histamine intolerance and MCAS, mast cell activation disorder, I ended up having to throw out, well, I gave it away, thousands of dollars worth of makeup, because I'm a makeup junkie, and I could no longer use the brands I was using. So I had to find new brands that were safe for me, and that did not cause reactions, and, well, I managed to. It took some doing. Um, I can't have makeup with gluten or nut oils in it, or orange oil per se, a um, number of other things. But I managed to find several brands I really love that don't give me reactions, and that made me very happy. One of the things I was hoping I'd be able to find again was what I, the lip lacquer, because I don't like regular lipstick. I like the way it looks, but I don't like the fact that it bleeds easily, and this as you can see, a little bit comes off, but not much. Um, it doesn't bleed into the corners of my lips. It doesn't smear when I eat. And when I'm talking, like giving a public talk or something, it doesn't smear. And that's one thing I really wanted. I didn't want something that I was constantly having to think, is my lipstick smearing? Is it bleeding? Is it, you know, getting on my teeth? Is it whatever? The first one, my favorite, comes from Makeup Forever. Now, not all of their stuff is gluten-free, so you have to look. They do have listed on there, um, they're gluten-free, mostly gluten-free. Take a look at the ingredients first. You never want to trust, them except for looking yourself. But I love their... Um, Matte, they call it matte lipstick, I believe, and yeah, Makeup Forever, it's, at least in my camera, it looks backwards to me, but uh, you'll see on the picture that I put up. Anyway, this is the, the color that I'm wearing now, and one thing I like about this is it lasts longest of almost all of them that I found, and it bleeds less than any of them in terms of transfer over when you kiss someone or when you take a drink from your cup. Um, if you get it wet, yeah, it will. It will eventually come off on a cup or a fork or something, but it's not nearly, not nearly as problematic as lipstick can be. Um, 
one of the other things I like best about their brand is I like the way it feels on my lips. It's very light. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel, um, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing much of anything on my lips. Second favorite brand has to be Dose of Colors. And this one is called Charm. This color is Charm. Now all of these come with a liquid, uh, sort of a sponge applicator. If you get it on your face when you're putting it on, keep makeup remover handy because otherwise it's a hell to get off. Um, I like Dose of Colors because it is probably the second longest lasting one that I found, at least in my experience. And I love the, the colors they have. They have a tremendous amount of colors. It, however, is almost more matte than just about any other brand. And you need, if you want it shiny, you're going to need to find a top coat for it. Now third, my third favorite is Tarte. And they call their brand Tartiest. Um, this color is called Acid Wash, and I've worn it before. It's kind of a dark berry, blackberry color. Um, I like the way it smells. Um, it doesn't last quite as long as Dose of Colors or um, Makeup Forever, but they've got a nice selection of colors. And I like Tarte in general in terms of their brand. Now, my fourth one would be Jouer. Jouer probably is the least longest act last, probably one of the least longest acting, ah, try that again, least longest lasting, long lasting colors. Um, however, they have very rich colors and I love the smell. I don't know what it is. They smell like chocolate. Now Tarte, most of their eyeshadows smell kind of almost like chocolate to me. This reminds me of Tarte's eyeshadow smell. So I'm not sure what they put in it, but it smells good. Um, it doesn't make you want to eat it, but it smells good. So that's my fourth favorite brand, Jouer, J-O-U-E-R. It's French, I believe. And the fifth is actually not, it's actually not a lip lacquer. It's a lip gloss. It's one of the only lip glosses I use, and that is Philosophy. Um, again, check the ingredients to make sure it's safe for you. I have found no reactions with Philosophy in terms of their lip gloss or a few of their face washes and stuff. Um, I have to be real careful with their moisturizing creams, although I do use Hope in a Jar, but some of their some of their stronger ones and some of like Olay's stronger ones give me a rash. So, but Philosophy's lip gloss, I like it because it smells good and it keeps my lips moist when I'm not wearing lipstick or lip lacquer. Um, those are probably my main brands at this point. I use Makeup Forever uh, lip liners because I like the feel. And I've tried the other lip liners from the other companies. And they're, they're nice, but I really do prefer Makeup Forever's lip liners and their eyeshadow pencils. They're softer and they, the color spreads easier. I do not like makeup liners or eyeliner pencils that are so hard and sharp that it feels like it's digging into your skin. For one thing, it feels like it can pull the skin and cause wrinkles. For another, it feels like you can puncture yourself with some of those things. So um, yeah, it's just a bonus. It's like, here's one of Makeup Forever's um, lip liners and it needs to be sharpened obviously, but it's very soft and draws a very easy line. So those are the what I use. 
as far as the colors, I use the berry colors. I use the deep, deep burgundy colors. I use the purples and plums because it goes with my skin, but most of them have a really nice array of choices. Uh, and I will say, you know, I found, <laughs> as a, another bonus, I have found my favorite eyeshadow. And I think I like it better than even when I used Urban Decay and MAC, and that is ColourPop. And they're inexpensive, they are made in the U.S., they have the ingredients listed on their site of what's in there, they are gluten-free, and the colors are very, very vivid. Um, I'm wearing uh, blue and uh, smoke-colored uh, silverish eyeshadows right now, but they are the most intense colors, and I really love their st their products. And as I said, they're very inexpensive, and I believe they are not tested on animals, and they are safe for me. So there's just one little added bonus of makeup makeup products I recommend is ColourPop eyeshadows and I think that's gonna be it for now because I my neck is getting a crook in it from staring up at my phone um, I'll be back next week hopefully on my computer and I'm thinking next week of uh, doing another top five favorite like video games that I love to play or something like that so until then, I will see you. Drop comments to me in the comments below. You can't see my arms. I'm pointing down. I'm not pointing it. Never mind. <laughs> um, anyway, leave comments for me. If you have any questions or anything, I'll try to answer. And uh, let me see. Remember the Phantom Queen, Whisper Hollow Book 3 just came out. And Demon's Delight, um, a wedding novella for Maddie and crew in the Bewitching Bedlam series is coming out on the 24th. And jump over to my blog and check it out because I'm going to have a whole lot of things on there over this next few months, including character profiles. And I will see you in the comments here. I will see you in the blog there. And... Uh, you know, if there's anything specific you want to hear me talk about, drop a note and I'll see if I can. Have a wonderful week and I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye.